last time on Annabra. Our exploration of the Warra Coast and stunning Ningaloo kicked off. We took our new vessel out for its maiden voyage, leading to a couple of successful fishing sessions and some great feeds. In this episode, our Ningaloo adventures continue. Or do they? Bianca, Fishbeard, Holy Masher. Let's go get in the crystal clear, tiny waves. I can't resist the urge any longer and decide to see how the injured shoulder feels on some forgiving one to two foot waves. I gotta say, it's good to be back in the surf. But now, it's time to go in, cook up some spotted mackerel tacos from the mackerel that I caught yesterday, and a beer, and then we're gonna get on a little Arvo dive. Got the Gigi. See if we can maybe try and get a sweet lip. Yank, what are you gonna get? Photos and footage. Well, there we go, we both got our goals. See some whales. And I want a lobster. Well, no lobsters or fish really, but the clarity was amazing and it's never a bad day when you get to be in the ocean. So with another beautiful day getting away from us, we spent the remainder of it at the beach, fishing and watching the sun go down. Morning. <laughs> We're up and part of Edinburgh. These two are going to the beach shortly. We made some coffee, I gotta do the dishes, then we're packing her up and moving on to the next spot. So here we go getting up this hill. Ah, uh, no dramas. Two wheel drive, fly two. Let's go. Leaving Stevens. Leaving Stevens. Help. <laughs> And we are on our way to 14 Mile. We've got 23 k yeah. of corrugated sandy tracks to drive down until our next destination. Tires 20 psi, 30 k an hour. No worries. We'll see you there next week. eternity of corrugated roads, we arrived at one of our bucket list campsite destinations, 14 Mile, where you can quite literally have the Ningaloo on your doorstep. After a quick setup, we headed straight to that crystal blue oasis calling our names. We got that water. Can't wait to get in you. And you later. Oh, I love a man with a big duck. It's gorgeous. Are you ready? I'm ready to get duck diving. Duck diving? Boy! Duck diving and zip diving and zip diving. <laughs> oh yeah.
Thank goodness it's actually seeing Coral again. So good and it's so sunny down there. Wind's starting to come up. Should we go for another dive or we'll go for breakfast? I'm oh, pretty keen on another coffee and a brekkie. Now it's the swimming pool. I'm going for a swim to cool down because I'm sweating up from wearing a wetsuit in 30 degree heat. Yep. I'm going to get out of this wetsuit, have some water and then maybe a beverage. Goes okay, for 10 walks a day to the beach, chills out in the van, eats fish and ribeye steaks for dinner. Living the life of the king dog. That's not where we came from. Hey, this way. Come on. Come on. We came through here, mate. Come on, go get it. <laughs> and back to the shade. It's a nice dive. With that, we ended a magical day on a magical stretch of coastline with, you guessed it, a beverage, campfire, and another bloody beautiful sunset. We woke to another stunning morning with another epic fishing session ahead. Or so we thought. Things quickly took a turn for the worse, with the engine failing one kilometre out to sea, with no phone, no reception, no EPIRB, and a strong current pulling the boat closer to the razor sharp reef. Being an inflatable boat, this isn't ideal, so the situation quickly became dire. Subscribe and tune in next week to find out my fate.